Hey, Mike. Hey, man. What's up? Uh, you know, just new lighting and stuff. Well, not new lighting, new old lighting. Well, new for here and experimenting. There's some. Sh- yeah, there's a lot of shadows, but we'll figure this out. We'll figure it out. Um, so this beer is sort of the. It's not really a bookend. There's only two, right? Bookend would be three. Um, Keith uh, gave us this at Beer Tube Palooza. This is White Labs 10 Degrees Play Doh Pilsner, brewed with WLP 802 Czech Bud Bud. Buda Jovis yeast? I thought it was just Czech lager yeast. I didn't read sure. the whole word. Um, and the previous one we did was the same beer um, brewed with um, German lager yeast. So if you haven't already checked out Keith and I3 Lumber, go check him out. I think I forgot how to pour into these glasses because usually we pour them at the top because they're eight ounces. <laughs> More for Michael. Oh, okay, there we go. Thanks. So yeah, for those that don't know or haven't watched the other video, um, stop watching this one and go watch the other one. No, actually, it doesn't matter what what order you watch it in. Um, White Labs, they're out of, um, they out of North Carolina, I believe. Yeah, Asheville, North Carolina. Oh, and, and San Diego. So they make like yeast for, for home brewers and, and whatnot. So they also make beer to kind of showcase the yeast, like how, how it affects the same to a beer. So how does glassware affect... Um this beer well when you come to my house and it's dirty glassware Uh you're going to get these really nice bubbles inside of the beer Uh so when we're talking about looking at the beer we're looking at the nice compact bubbles on the head but then we got these lovely dirty glass bubbles kind of going on (laughs) all around the glassware (laughs) that's uh i mean yeah it's it's sort of like pale glowy kind of a yellow it's it it means it's actually quite uh, attractive to look at it is Minus the, you know. No, the bubbles add to it. <laughs> uh, and the heads, it, you know, it's dissipating relatively quickly, but it's like, um, like tightly compact. Yeah. Very, very, almost like crystal. Yeah. White. I got a nose without even, whatever. Huh. I remember the other one being very sweet. I, I, I remember yeah. that was like our big, like, complaint, I guess. Yeah. Like, it was very sweet. This does seem like it might be sweet as well, though. It does, but it has more, I think, more of a lemongrass. It smells a little crisper, if that yeah. makes sense. But yeah, it does still have that sweetness. Because I imagine, because we're talking, this is just yeast, right? Like, if they're putting that much malt into it, that's where they're going to get the... Uh... It says it has a dry finish. We'll see. And it says it has bitterness. Yeah, I mean, I'm getting, like, like some candy sweetness yeah. here. You know, I'm, I know you, you taste... You don't I smell get it. sweetness, but you can. Oh yeah, you can tell. You can sense it, right? If you overanalyze beer as much as we do, <laughs> like oh, you can tell this is gonna be sweet, you know. Um, yeah, but I mean, it does have some lemoniness, um, like um, it does have that some a grassy thing yeah. going. Um, a little bit of like like um, like when you step outside in the spring, that morning dew kind of a smell. Yeah. Get a little bit of that in there. Some like earthiness. This it smells nice, but. I, I suspect it may be a little sweet. Yeah. Want to try it? Yeah. So, Cheers. Cheers. Thanks, Keith. Oh. It's not as sweet as the last one, that's for sure. No, but I wasn't expecting that taste. It has more of a, you know, beer taste. It's crispy, but it's also, I don't remember if we said this for the last one, it's a full mouthfeel for a Pilsner. It's a relatively full, yeah. but it's still crispy, if that makes any sense. Yeah, it, it, the finish is crisp. Um, it is sweet, not as sweet as um, no. one from two weeks ago. Um, but there's, what was I getting? I almost said it and then I lost it. Hold on. You know, this does have a more um, pronounced bitterness. Yeah. You know, uh, which I think actually helps because it the sweetness does lead into it. And, oh. and it has that sort of nice dry, kind of um, slightly bitter finish. It's pretty good. If, if yeah, 100%, I would pick this one over the German lager yeast version any day of the week. Yes. Um, I don't know if I would actually go out and buy more of the German lager yeast version. This, I think I would. If I saw it, I think I'd pick it up. Yes, yeah, same. Yeah. yeah. Uh, 4%. Just mess a few of these. Mm-hmm. You won't uh, get drunk and pass on your couch with all your company over your house like I did last weekend. Nice. Yeah, pretty sweet. <laughs> Make a fool of yourself. I've done it. I passed out in a stairwell at the old apartment. I had to be brought upstairs and put on my couch. I don't remember that happening at all. 
I woke up in a stairwell, not in that one, which is where I started drinking. <laughs> I woke up in another building. Really? Yeah, you guys were all looking for me. I don't remember that. I got, at all. I got all these. Yeah, well, well probably because I was. <laughs> was twenty years ago. Yeah. Anyways, yeah. Um, dude, Keith, thank you for for giving us both of these. This is a fun little experiment. This is the type of stuff that that like makes me happy to do beer reviews. Like, yeah, we like doing beer reviews, but but this type of stuff is really neat because because it really kind of gives you a better idea of different ingredients in, in this particular case, yeast. Yeah, it's this is a remarkably different beer. Yeah. Yeah, like I, I would love more breweries to do something like this, just like they have single hop series. Just give us different yeast series, like brew a beer and then sh- toss some different yeast in it. it. I'm sure it's probably a lot more complicated than just hopping beers, like sing- make a single hop beer and then make another one. But I, I really liked when Sam used to do that sometimes. Yeah, that was a really fun way to say, oh, so that's what mosaic tastes like. Hmm. Mm. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, because they had that deconstructed latitude box. That was. That was really fun. If you haven't watched that, if you haven't listened to that episode, because that wasn't a video episode, that it was, was like eight years ago. That was an audio episode. <laughs> yeah. No, that that was really fun though. I had, I had a lot of fun doing that one. Didn't we have Joel with us doing that? I think it was. Yeah, it was Joel. Yeah. yeah. Weird. Um, but yeah, again, Keith, thanks so much. Down in the comments, if you had, um, is this ten degrees Plato or ten degrees Celsius? Is in a ten degrees Celsius. They brewed They they formatted at ten degrees Celsius. I said ten degrees Plato at the beginning of the video, so mm-hmm. look like an idiot. Whatever. Used to it. Uh, NerdSense.net, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, those are things. Like, comment, subscribe, hit those notification bells so you can find me post new videos. And again, thank you everybody for watching. And I'm Sean. I'm Mike. And, and this, this is NerdSense. Nerd